Welcome back to Rome 2 Total War. You saw what happened on the last video. Um, there's a patch coming out, patch 9. It's due very, very soon. Now, I, I don't know the exact date yet, but maybe that's one of the things that will cure that problem. That, I think, has to be a bug. I can't see um, any other way around that. Uh, there was a warning about that in the very early days of Rome 2 Total War, saying if you access the diplomacy screen from another screen, or before you've done something else, or blah blah blah, then it will freeze. So I am aware of this as a known condition. Maybe I need to take the effort to go and seek out the patch myself. I don't know. But um, anyway, never mind. We're, we're back to just before the turn end, um, because basically I just went to the auto um, save, you know, that, that happens just before the turn end each time. And of course, usually what happens when um, I get to, to look at things on my own, um, instead of just you know, carrying on with the um, the game as as you're watching, is I, I tend to have a, a bit a bit more of a look around. So one of the things I decided to do was disband all my mercenaries, um, but I've changed my mind from that. Um, I, I thought, okay, I've got 40 now, but it's a current total. I could show it to you actually. Um, <laughs> I hope so. Technology, not technology, you fool. What are you talking about? It's this one. Yeah. Okay, if you look on here, it says current total. That's currently 362 of 340 that's required, or 140 that's required. Another thought that I had was was that I could disband some units um, and keep the um, the mercenary units, but in reality, I think what's happened is I've, I've gone for the, the mercenaries too soon. That's the big problem. Um, I don't know what happens when I have all these mercenaries and I take Italia. I really don't know, but I'd still need 140 settlements, and I've currently only got 129, and taking Italia won't achieve that. It won't achieve those extra targets. So I thought, well, I could take the African places, you know, that I need, and perhaps take those islands in between. And I think it's possible to do that really, really quickly. But look at the amount of money I've got coming in. 4,967. Not enough, really, um, to be able to repair the places. What's going to happen is I'm going to end up with a lot of slums, uh, which is going to eat away all my bread, and my whole empire is going to begin to starve. So I can't do it. I have to go slowly. So... I'm really a bit stuck now. I could get rid of my mercenaries, yeah, and then have a bit more money and sort of um, take more places maybe without them. Or what I could do is gradually build it up. I think, on balance, I'm going to go for the gradually build it up. But I have found one place where I can get some troops from, um, where they are, I believe, currently wasted. And it's these guys here. I found them when I was looking for, for places where I could get rid of mercenaries. Obviously, this doesn't have any mercenaries, but I thought, well, I'll look through all my armies and see what I can do. And, and of course, I came across this one, and I thought, oh, hang on, there's no threat here. So I need to move these guys. And of course, that's precisely what I'm going to do. I'm going to move them down to... Um, it doesn't really matter exactly where I move them down to. Um, I think... Um, I don't know. Down to there, maybe. And then maybe that will release somebody to go and attack Genoa. Do you know, it makes more sense to call Genoa... Uh, or, or spell Genoa with a U, doesn't it, rather than an O, as we do now. Genoa just sounds better than Genoa, which is, you know, it's about, anyway, a mute point. Um, now, let's get these guys from here then, because they are currently wasted up there. Uh, we'll get them running. And I'll get them all the way down to... I don't know exactly where. Um, I think... I think I will go for there. Uh, like I said, I don't think it really matters. Wait, actually, he's nearly there. Uh, yeah. Is that the best one? I'm just thinking about people who can then go and... Yeah, because he can relieve there, can't he? And then, yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Right, bring him over to here. That will then free him to come to here and free him to attack Genoa. Right, OK. Um, and then, really, what I want to do is shuffle across and take all these places out as well. Um, now, the other thing I thought I might do is get these ships, whoops, from here now. Liguria seem to be struggling. They really do. So I thought maybe I'd rush these to this point here and occupy this area with these. Um, double time up to here. 
I was thinking about just defending that, that port area with them, but I've changed my mind. I, I don't think it's a good idea. So I'm going to bring these forward now. I think, you see, I can block this area here. I can stop anybody getting through here, can't I? And those guys will stop anybody getting through there, of course. Now, it's my own territory as well, so I could recruit ships if I want to in that area. But the main thing is, I've blocked off this route through here. Now, I discovered recently that this place is owned by Liguria. They obviously have these places down here, like Rome, for instance, um, and Genoa. Um, but I'm hoping to take those fairly soon, which means that, that this place here, Caralis, or whatever it's called, is probably the only place that the Ligurians have, which means that they can slip their ships through here. They can also get through here, of course, and they may well choose to do that, but I don't know. I, I think it makes it more difficult for him if I'm occupying um, this area down here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is see if I can get trade somewhere. I need the money. Um, I really do need the money. So let's hope that my diplomacy doesn't fail me this time and it will allow me to continue. Oh, it seems to be doing. Okay, um, I don't know. Trade... I should have done this between videos. In fact, I think I said I might do that. But anyway, I'm not doing. So, there we go. Can't get trade with that one. But it, actually, the red means I can't get trade anyway. So, I don't know why I even tried it. That's because I'm not paying attention, basically. Trade agreement. What about that one? Low. No chance of that one then, really. Um, and who else? Carthage. I may well have tried this before. But I'll try it again. Hi! Hi! Right, well, I'm, I'm going to go for that. Like I said, any trade that I can get, it's got to be a good thing. I wonder if they'll pay me some money as well. Payments. Demand payments. What, I don't know, 2,000? Hi! Ah, might ask a bit more then. Payments. Demand payment, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, how about 6,000? Low. Okay, drop it a bit. High, low, high, low. Um, payments. Demand payment, how about 4,000? Moderate, we're on moderate now. I'd rather go for high, so let's try 3,000. I think they accepted 2,000, didn't they, on a high? Let's see if they'll do three. High, okay, I'm going to go for that one then. Um, good, so that's given me an increased income for next turn. Uh, plus 3,000 in the... Um, uh, well, in the bag, basically, so it means now that I can spend that money on um, updating some provinces, so uh, if I need to. I'm not sure if I do yet. I'm, I must have checked it on the last video. I must have done, because I did a turn end, didn't I? So I don't think I need to do that again. Okay, Edetani, or Edetani, or whatever they are, I don't know. Um, trade agreement? Tra trade agreement, there. Moderate. Well, that's not bad, is it? Shall I try them on a moderate, then? No, they don't want it. They probably want a bit of money from me. Should I give them some money that I'd got from the other place? How about a thousand? Trade agreement. Ah, now hang on, it should show me how much it's worth. 1,296. That's worth um, a payment from me of a thousand, I would have thought. 430. 860? still moderate. Offer them a little bit more. Bearing in mind I've just got 3,000, you know, that I didn't expect to have. Offer payment... Uh, how about 1290? Still moderate. I don't know. Well, if I'm not going to be able to push him to high, then maybe I'll offer the lower one then. Offer payment of 860. See what that does then. No, they still don't want it. I'm not going to pay any more than that. I want the money. I know they're worth 1200 a turn, but maybe I should, actually. Maybe I should offer them the 1200 because I'm going to get that in one turn, aren't I? Okay, trade agreement. Where are you? There you are. Trade agreement. Offer payment. Payments. Offer payment. One, two, three. 1290. Right. Aha! Good. Well, I'm going to get that off them next turn anyway, so that's got to be good, isn't it? I don't think I'm ever going to achieve my target, by the way, of trading with 20 nations, but um, at least I'm increasing my income now. Trade agreement. Low. No, if it starts low, I'm going to have to pay them a lot of money, aren't I, to get it, so I'm not going to be bothered with that. I see now. Um, 
Trade agreement. No. Okay. Um, who else? Liguria, yeah. I'm hoping for peace for them soon, you know. I don't want to be at war with them forever. I just want to take the territories that I need. Low. I'm not bothered with that one then. And... Um, Masseli. That's those guys up there. I'm not going to bother with them. Um, Massilia. Trade agreement. Hi. What if they'll pay me something? Payments. Demand payment. 4,000? Moderate. Let's see if I can get it to high. Payment. Demand payment. Uh, how about 2,000 then? Oh, well, let's go for 2,000. Doesn't seem to want the three, does it? So we'll go for this one. Um, good. Ah, this is working out well. We're increasing our treasury and increasing the, the potential for the future as well. OK, I, I think that's probably it for now. So how did I do out of that? Um, 5,067. That's substantially more than I thought I had. I thought my pot was empty, but obviously not. Well, not now. So uh, what I suppose I need to do now is find out if there are any territories that I need to upgrade and I'm sure there aren't pretty sure there aren't I don't think that's my f furthest east point let's let's check it by going west my furthest west point rather. Um, no that's further this one yeah okay so where is my most westerly city I think it must be that one aha there you go see how it's going all the way over to there now that means that that one I was on is my most westerly city right, well let's have a look at that one then Okay, there. I'm sure I will have checked this on the previous video, but actually, while I'm pressing these buttons, I can be drinking my tea, can't I? Because it's just one finger needed. No. Um. No, I think that's it. There's no point in going any further because we're then into territories we're not even bothered about, aren't we? I might move an edict though. I wonder if I did that on the previous video. Because there are some places that I've taken around here fairly recently. In fact, I'll be taking another one soon. I'll be taking um, Genoa, which is attached perhaps to this one. Yes, it is. How happy is this place? Three turns. Well, when I take uh, Genoa, that's going to cause a problem. So I think I need an edict in there. Um, this one here, is this part of Rome? Or Valletta, or whatever you call it? Uh, yeah, it is. Well, this one is also going to need it, I think. Public order's stable in that, yeah, but I, th I honestly think that's going to need it. Um, this place, I imagine, is part of Rome as well, is it? No, it isn't. Well, what state's this one in? Well, that's happy. Hmm. Well, stable anyway. OK. I think then what I need to do is... In fact, they could probably attack now. They can. They could actually attack there now, because I now have enough money to upgrade this place. Um, what about these? They can't reach, can they? No. Okay, um, I wonder if it's worth taking that place. But I'm not sure I've got the troops, actually. Mind you, these can come forward and help. No, they can't move. Right, OK, that's what's done it, isn't it? They can't get there yet. These can't take it on their own because they're too small. Well, I think they're too small. So, uh, yeah, I can't really do any more, can I? I'll hang on to the money. And now got 8,300 next turn coming in. We've got 5,000 in the bag. So, I mean, we're doing well now. So, 8, 9, 10, 13,000. I was beginning to think there's no way I was going to be able to cope with all these, um, um, with all these mercenaries. But might well work. OK, I think that is probably about it. 
what I should do actually is check the units to see if there's anybody that needs upgrading, but no, oh, I haven't got the time to fiddle about with that. Let's go for it and see what happens. I think, should I? Um, yeah, okay. Um, my doubt is that I could have been moving forward my African troops. Um, now I've got some more money, I might be able to afford to upgrade three places at once. See, one of the problems I've got is some of the provinces I've already taken, um, I've had to destroy buildings in there instead of um, replace them. Um, which means that they're going to go to squalor if I can't rebuild them. So I mustn't leave myself in a position where I haven't got enough money to rebuild those places. So that that's the first situation. Otherwise, well, you know what will happen. Go to squalor, minus 10 each place it goes to squalor, eating, well, minus 10 food. I've only got 13. Two of those that happens to, bump. I've had it, haven't I? Uh, everything starts to starve to death. So, um, so that's the reason why it's important to me to have some money in the kitty, really. Um, okay, so... Uh, um, yeah, I I think, well, what I was thinking was maybe I could go for the Masayeli, you know, those at the, uh, in, in Africa. Oh, this is a shame. This has come in too early for me. No, um, I'm going to attack Genoa next turn, and that's where that's pointing to. That's obviously their capital. Um, no, I, I can't have treaty with you yet. Um, what I'd like to have happened is, once I've taken Rome and that other place, Valletta or whatever it's called, and Genoa. Once I've got those three places... Oh, he might stop. Right, he may well prevent... Oh, he's done something, hasn't he? Yeah, I think he stopped my army moving. So that's held me back a turn anyway. What I wanted to do was take that side of, of Italy. Once I've taken that, and perhaps even got those... Um, Avantes out, or Avarates, or whatever they're called... Um, then I can get a piece of Liguria. Anyway, okay, sip of the tea before I do anything else. Right, increase in rank. Should I do that one now? No, I'm not going to. Natural causes. Oh dear, another one goes. Natural causes, another one. Damn, right, okay. Military subversion. That's the one I didn't want to happen. Impressive show of forces. Demoralise your army. The men are afraid to face their foe. I've got an idea which one that is. Um, yeah, it's a pretty important one to me, that one. Troubled populace. I need to look into those, actually, because these are the ones that are going to have... Mm, where's that? This is one that's going to become Genoa, isn't it? In fact, I can up upgrade those buildings while I'm here. Now, that's a good one. Public order. Definitely going to go for that one. This one here, again, I could go for public order. Or should I this time go for this one, which spreads culture and gives public order? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Now these, of course, I want food. Both of them. Um, so that was simple, but um, and they're, they're quite quick actually. That one only takes one turn, but it, all it does is give food in that one turn. You see. Uh, other than that, it's going to take two turns. It probably means these are about to rebel, doesn't it? Oh, it's stable. But is it going to be stable when I take Genoa? Because that is definitely what I intend to do. Maybe I should give it an edict as well, or something, I, I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll, what happened then? Noble death. Right, okay. Anything else? Troubled populace. Encouraged populace? I, I haven't got it with population surplus, that's another one to watch out for. Because obviously they can generate a building that goes to squalor. Hidden agent exposed. There doesn't seem to be another one, does there? Just that one troubled populace from what I can see. Okay, uh, we've got some traits gained as well, which we need to deal with, but... Uh, well, possibly, you know, uh, upgrade the characters, but I'll do that when I do all the characters. Let's have a look at this one that I think he was successful in holding back. He's only half held me. Well, no, that's true, I could take that. <laughs> I obviously can't reach Rome anymore. Or Roma as they call it. Um, what do I do? I wonder, can I take Rome with this army? Ah, what I might be able to do is bring these over, is run them in support. So if I do an attack on Rome, I could bring those just as a support on the attack. Maybe. But it's unlikely though, isn't it? 
So what do we do? Attack Rome or do we attack Velathri? I don't know. Can I bring in help in my attack from my ships? Possibly. I'm tempted to go for Rome and attack it from here. I think perhaps the best thing to do though first is to go for Genoa. And I can get that from here, hopefully. How may I serve Parthia? 20 troops. Let's see what we can do against these guys then. I can't reach. Damn, I can't reach them. Blast! Um, that's a nuisance. Ready for battle. Can they re No, they can't reach them either. Oh, damn. Um, there's a way through there as well, which means I can't leave... No, there isn't. It goes all the way around there. Right, OK. I think I know what I'm going to do then. They can't attack me because they'd have to go round that way. And I'm going to control that route. OK. Let's see what we can do then. There isn't anybody else that can get him, is there? No, not that I can see. Oh, it would have been so good to have taken Genoa this turn, wouldn't it? But it's not to be. OK, let's send a, a little force in then first to see what happens. Um, this one to take... Where do I go? Do I go Velathri? Do I go Rome? So tempting to take Rome, isn't it? And then move down. Um, you see, what I'm thinking is that, that these guys here could run in, a, in support of an attack on Velathri there. Um, but only if these can reach Velathri. Um, and they can't reach it anyway. The only ones that can actually reach anything now that he's had that effect on my force are these here. And in fact, they... They can't attack anybody any either. Oh, they can. Right, OK, they can reach there. And they can reach there. It depends which one I want to take, which route. The last three I can get more forces for. Uh, but it would expose, then, Ariminium, or whatever you want to call it, to Rome, wouldn't it? I'm going to expose somebody. Oh, no, hang on. No, because he could come up there, couldn't he? I think... I've no idea, really, to be honest. I, I can only think that... Because um, I've got no spies or anything here. I think he hasn't got any troops in any of these places. So it's tempting, isn't it, to go for Rome as the preferable place. Um, none of them are on the sea. So I can't attack them that way. Oh, damn. None of this is a clear decision. Um, let's see how far he can reach. Because at least I might be able to bring him into the action. Um, right, he'd only be able to get to there. And that far is not far enough. He can get this far. That's not going to be far enough to support an attack. Let's see if we can run them then. Run them in. OK. OK, so I can now run them all the way to there. Pretty darn sure they can get there. So it's going to have to be these then, isn't it? To come through to here. OK, let's see what Rome's got to offer then. Well, you'd have thought if you'd have been supporting anything, it would have been Rome, wouldn't it? So... Right, that's looking pretty dismal. But look at this, he is losing troops everywhere, isn't he? It's not looking good for him. Continue siege. Right, now let's see if I can bring these over. Maybe I should bring over something else. Um, uh, if I bring him to there, will he support the attack? Well, let's get him to there first and see what happens. Because he'll still get up to there afterwards, won't he? Perhaps... I don't know. 
There, let's see what happens. Okay, we're trespassing, but it doesn't matter. We're going through someone else's territory, aren't we? Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, right, that's definitely in our favour now. Okay, 75% I can accept. Anything else, I'm going to have to go and fight it, I think. 74, 73, 70, I'm going to accept the 74. Okay. Okay, so lose 26% of the army in doing that, but I'm sure we'll be able to recuperate that pretty quickly. So, okay, that row is ours then, so occupy that. Uh, Roma captured, thank you very much. Now, uh, okay, nothing there. These are the ones that can go to squalor, you see. See, they're minus four public order. I don't want any public order problems at all in any of these places, so um, I'm going to have to be careful with that. I think this probably means now there's going to be a rebellion next turn. Um, about two turns. Oh, that's not bad at all. I need to get an edict in there, then. I need to find out where the edicts are and get it in there. This guy, next turn, can go and attack there, can't he? Because he will be probably fully replenished, so I can get him to go and take uh, Neapolis. Okay, now this place here is fairly safe then, Arminium. Um, I haven't got anywhere that can attack Villathri. Um, it's because he's taken out that force from up at the top. Otherwise they could have probably done that on their own. Uh, that agent action has has stopped me taking both, because they could have taken it on, his, on its own. These could have then attacked here, with support from here. So that's what's caused me the problem. In fact, I wonder if he can continue to move. No, he can't. Ah, uh, okay. So, um, he can't reach... Um, he can't reach Genoa which means Genoa can't reach him. Right, he can reach through to there. I think that's what he needs to do, to go through to there. Um, and then take that next turn and leave Patavium. I think that's probably what we're going to have to do. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's bring him through here then. And... Right, we're not actually losing troops, which is good. Um... He can come out and fight me. He's got ten in there. He might reinforce it from the sea as well, bring in extra troops. You know, which uh, wouldn't surprise me. Um, if he doesn't attack me next turn, then he's in trouble, isn't he? Because I can bring my troops out of Roma as well. Um, right. Okay, so... Attacking Genoa... We can't reach, can we? Let's just double-check that. It's very close, though, isn't it? Now... Well, we're going to have to advance on it anyway. Um, because he's going to have to go at some point. Let's get this close then. Blimey, he's got nothing in there, you know. Shenoa, oh blimey. Pardon me, Shenoa. Oh, 32 out of 320. Wow, he's in a terrible mess. Okay, next turn we're going to take Velafri, by the look of it. In fact, I bet you he's losing men as well, is he? Oh, we can't see that. But if we look in Velathri itself... Uh, oh, he's doing better there. 306 out of 480. Hmm, not brilliantly, though. Okay, now, I had somebody going towards Coria. Right, so these troops from Coria can come out of here and go to here, can't they? To where we've just left. Okay. Good. Now I can bring these guys here to occupy Coria, which is here. Okay, good. Now, I'm not even sure Coria is going to be at risk from anybody. Oh, it is. It's this place here, isn't it? Um, this one. Well, marginally, because I think he's going to have to go through other territories to get to it, isn't he? So, I'm not sure how front-line Courier is. Maybe, it, well, yeah. It's possible for somebody to sneak through, isn't it, if they have the will to do so. So, I wonder, actually, if I can take them off the 
No, I can't do it. Uh, you know, they, I don't think they've moved their full move. I could have put them on normal stance, but anyway, I can't do that now. Okay, what have I got? Um, 11,436. What I now need to do, basically, is make sure that all my um, territories um, of, you know, uh, their buildings are all sorted. So, if I start here and then go um, east from here, it'll take me all the way around to the west, won't it? There we go. So, starting here, I'll just check on the buildings. Maybe I need to upgrade some of these, of course, but for now, I'm just going to do the minimum. Mm. I think that trade has really paid off for me. It's made such a difference. It's put some money in the pot straight away anyway. I mean, I was getting about four or 5,000 per turn in, you know, and I, I wouldn't have been able to... I should have taken the North African one, really, you know, w while I had that money. Well, I've still got the money, but I should have at least moved in that direction. Then I was... That, you know, then I'd have been cutting off that area, which is the general plan, isn't it, really? It's taken me a long time to, to what I call, close that door up at the top there, way up in the north. But um, I, the other thing that I wanted to do was seal off um, this sea here, this, um, oh, what are we calling this one? Um, Mare Egyptian, the Egyptian Sea. I, I mean, basically, this, this whole area. I need all of this here. Um, cordoned off at the top here, which is what I've spoken about many times before. Uh, but taking these guys out would have been the first phase of doing that, really. And then I could have moved across here, because once I've got this place, even if I don't take those areas, I can uh, block that off and then put ships in there and there. And then the whole thing is done, isn't it? I really do have to bring troops against... Um, Thapsus. I've got to do it, you know, because it's just such a waste if I don't. And like I said, I've got the money in the pot now. I should take advantage of it while I can. Um, they're going to take a long, long time to get around there, aren't they? Um, that's normal walking. They can... Ah, oh, two turns. They can do it in two, I think. Can they? Why isn't it showing me? Right. What's it do? Why is it disappearing? Oh, I don't think it is. It's going to blue, isn't it? That's the problem. Okay, maybe I need to run them for part of the journey. For the first part. Then they can attack it in one turn, can't they? I think that's what I've got to do, you know. I've got to run them to that area there. Okay, well let's do that then. Let's start them off. Get them on a run. And get them over to... Um, here. Okay. Thapsus and all their spies now seem to have um, changed their position slightly, you know, they're, they're, well, my spy is gone basically, so I have no idea what position they're in, that's what I should really be saying, isn't it? So, right, okay, I, I, I'll run these to position because I want them to get there quickly. They could probably do it on normal stance, but I just want to be absolutely certain about it. Now these areas here, they should be okay, I would think. Uh, yep. Okay. Now, I could do with some naval support, because I remember those guys up there in Thapsus having good ships. I do remember that. Is he going to go past me if I go up there? The main thing is, uh, I need to be able to get somebody that can reinforce that place. Well, what do I do with those? They're totally wasted now, aren't they? I don't need any of these in here, in any of these places. Um... Hmm, I need to think about those for the future, though. Do I start bringing these forward? This is the thing. Um, I think maybe I'll have to. I know. I know. What I need to do, really, is shunt the armies forward and bring out the ships. That'll be the way to do it. Okay, let's bring out the ships, go and have a look what he's got in there. Let's see if he'll expose it. No, I'm going to need to go further. But I, I, that's not a bad position, though. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. I just think I have to move these forward, though. So he can come to there. I think two armies should be enough for taking that place, I would have thought. I hope so. Um, and then perhaps bring these forward as well. To here. 
Okay, it's just... Oh, blimey, hang on. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blimey, I can't do it now. Yes, I can. Good. Right, bring him to there. Yeah, I thought it wasn't going to allow me to do a run then on that one. Right, okay, um, so that's... Army's moving forwards. We're still covering that area there, although I don't think I'm going to need to do that for very much longer. I think I really need to be bringing my ships forward now. In fact, I should do, you know. I'm going to have to. Okay, bring the ships forward. Keeping them in my own territory as much as I can, really, I think. Um, I'll keep them on normal stands, just in case there's anything that can threaten them. Uh, okay. See how this works. If I, if I go into this area here, it's like um, it's almost like a desert area. You know, they do say seas are deserts, don't they? I know it sounds weird that, but they do. And you, basically, what it is is that you you lose men if you go into. I'll show you anyway. You're bound to. Just to check for myself, really. Oh, oh no, it's all right. Well, that surprises me. Ah, that really surprises me. I thought the sea up here. Oh. I'd have thought that would have counted as almost like being off-road, if you like, you know, but... Ah, what's that then? Ah, here we go. It's showing that, isn't it, as... Yeah, there are certain places I can go and certain ones I can't. Okay, it shows that skull, doesn't it? It becomes deep sea when it gets to around there. So, right, okay, well, I'll keep away from those areas then. Right, okay, these guys, and... There you are, deep sea. I don't think it does it here, does it? And it's certainly not doing it there. I think we'll go this way. Yeah. Okay, right, well that's, not, that's worked out pretty well for me actually, I'm quite pleased about that. These are the ones that are on fast speed, no they're not. Right, okay, maybe these can go forward as well then, let's bring everything for. oh hang on. Ah, there it is. Um, I think we'll just go here then. For now, and then we'll have a look at what the other areas are, areas are like. Um, there, about, ooh, anything over that line. Is bad, isn't it? Okay, there. Right then. Well, let's let's bring these out now. Then I think I can start to move um, all these ships forward. Huh? That's good news, right? Okay, these stands none. Just in case anything does attack them, you see, I want to be in a uh, a mode that I can fight them on. Right. Well, I think this is it. We can start to move forward now. Then what I'll do is. Um, I'll block up, eventually, all these areas, as I explained before with my ships. The biggest threat is going to be Syracuse here. And it'll all be down, really, to whether he produces sh ships there or not. If he produces ships, we'll have to blockade him. Um, but other than that, we should be, and he can't even produce any very good ships, can he? Maybe I'll just put a backstop somewhere, so if he does produce somebody and sends it out there, we'll be able to chase him round and eventually kill him off. I, d I really don't know. But other than that, I won't need to go to war with them. All I need, really, is to take this place and then block that, because he can't get through, yeah, and then watch him and blockade him, maybe, and then cut that off. So basically, well, one, two fleets there, one there, three fleets will control the whole of this area. Maybe a fourth, just to watch there. I think I'm allowed 12 in this, and I've got one in the north. So there you go. I mean, it's, I'm going to have loads and loads spare, aren't I? Okay, good. Um, Cosentia can probably do that anyway, really. Um, Cassentia can probably be the one that... Oh, I don't know, really. The army that's there, I was thinking of. OK, I need to find out where the edicts are, and then issue them in the correct places. Let's go around and have a look at that. Um, uh, no, not there. Provinces. OK. Um, how do I find... I can't find them, can I, on here? There must be a way of finding edicts. I can't see anything that shows whether there's an edict in a place or not. I can't see anything special. No, I, I know I've looked for this before and I couldn't find it. Um, it's a funny way. There's only one way I can find edicts, really. In fact, now there's a point. I can't issue edicts in those places anyway. Because they're broken provinces. They're not complete provinces. So the Genoa one, or the one that's attached to Genoa, 
um, is not, there you go, it's not a complete province, so I can't do it anyway. Uh, this one that's attached, I think, to Rome, that one can't do it either. I'd need to take the other places first before I could do it. Okay. What can I do? I just have to suffer the rebellion. I can't do a darn thing about that. Um, okay. Um, apart from put buildings up in there, of course. Right. Uh, that gives me growth, but nothing else, does it? This gives me six food. I wonder if I dare build another building. I'll risk it. I'm just thinking about the um, um, the extra expense when I, I'm going to need it to build up these other places. When I take this, this, and the Masali one, I'm going to need that money, aren't I? But Okay, nothing else I can do now, for now, I don't think. Um, he was successful in stopping that army up there. Um, and that has made all the difference to me, I'm afraid. So, okay, an end turn. I've gone well over time. Up to 41 minutes now. Let's just do an end turn. Just to find out what we're going to be able to do next. I'm pretty sure um, it's going to be um, Velathri that falls, Genoa that falls, and also the um, the northwest African place as well. Um, Thapsus, I believe it's called. So, hmm, it's definitely having a long think about this, isn't it? I can't carry on this video, I'm afraid, because I'm up to 41 minutes now, um, and time's going by. Um, really, I should have saved this turn end until the next video. That was a very effective agent action against me there. The Canutes want a trade agreement. Yeah, I'll trade with anybody if you give me some money, especially. So let's see what they'll give me. How much is it worth? Trade value, 1,484. Wow, that's good. Okay, counter offer. Payments. Will you give me something? 4,000? Low. Okay. Oh, it's only moderate. Well, you wanted it. Oh, maybe I've blown it now by doing that. Okay. One thousand, another 1,400 in the pot. I'm very pleased about that. Not only that, it, it shows me more um, of the tribes that are in the uh, game, or uh, factions as they call them. I wonder where that word comes from, faction. I can't imagine it being the classical world. Well, they were talking on the radio today about... Um, um, Wales and the Welsh language, it gives them problems because their teachers in their schools have to be able to speak Welsh, you see. They have to be bilingual with English and Welsh and, and it's causing them problems for recruiting teachers, apparently. Um, and uh, there was a Welsh speaker on there who said, uh, you know, we have you know, the oldest language in Britain, which is Breton. You know, and um, I, I didn't know Breton came actually from the Britons. I thought the Bretons were um, a tribe from North Europe, actually, to be honest, but, but I heard it just before I started playing this. I haven't had a chance to check it. In fact, I probably won't do anyway. But anyway, the language he was talking about, not the tribe. He said, we speak Breton. Um, you know, whereas obviously the English, you know, we speak um, the, the language of the Angles. Don't, well, we don't really. We speak a mixed, you know. Isn't they just blimey? Blimey, they're all exposed. Increasing rank, I the king. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, so the rest of it is all going to be uh, wiping out those places, like I say. Um, they're probably going to be auto-resolves. He doesn't seem to have anybody in there anyway. So, look at this lot. Wow, look at all them. What are they doing at sea? Do you know what I think they're doing? I think they're staying out there in order to avoid food attrition. Gamesmanship, isn't it? I bet you he's suffering food attrition. I can't look. Um, I could find it in here though, because I think it shows me the minus four. Oh, that's happiness, isn't it? The minus four bread. They're starving. So he's put all his troops out to sea in order to save them from starvation. That's very gamey, isn't it? Okay, we're starving. Everybody to sea. Rubbish. Okay, what about this? Um, 24 out of 320. I'm just going to walk in there and take that place. Well, I might as well do that now, because that's just going to be so easy for me, isn't it? So, okay. Um, in we go. I shouldn't really take it this turn, you know. I should wait, because it's likely to rebel. Um, 
having just been taken. So what's that, 98%? Definitely going to go for that, aren't I? 98% and it's mine. Jenner is mine. He really was in a very bad way, wasn't he? Uh, right. Okay, occupy that. We fight for you, my lord. And let's find out if this was one of his bread producing areas. Yeah, he got stuff from the fish, didn't he? From the sea, rather. He got fish from the sea. Um, I, I wonder if I get that. Minus four public order, though. But it gives me eight food. What does that do? Minus four food. Now, I'm going to go for the food. Even though it gives me public order problems. Um, this, minus four food. I don't want any of those. No, I'm going to rebuild that. And this one, again, whoops. Uh, no, I'm going to rebuild that as well. These need to be built up so they're producing more food, of course. This whole area is probably going to rebel now, isn't it? Two turns, actually. Mm, you never know. We might have built it up by then. A little bit of luck. You never know. Well, I only need Valethry now, with this army here. If he's left it without any troops in there, then he really has had it, hasn't he? Let's have a look here. Minus six per turn. Valethry um, is on minus four. He's not producing any food in there. I might do him a favour by taking this place, you know. But it's going to have to go. Because, well, it's just begging for it, isn't it, basically. Um, so let's see what happens if I go into here. I might have to fight this one, and if I do, it's going to be on the next video. No, I'm going to take it. That's just too easy, isn't it? So, what, 89? Mm, 91? 92? Do I want to... Yeah, why not? Let's risk it for a biscuit. There you go. So that's that one taken. Blimey, it's a six minute video now. Occupy. Do I have enough money? I do. 22, nearly 23,000. Good, it made all the difference getting all that trade, you know. The Lathry. Right, let's get um, physical. No, that's something completely different. Right, okay. Um, anybody doesn't know that, it's a song, by the way. <laughs> you probably didn't recognise it. Oh, actually, that's from Roma. What would. Did I? Oh, that's because I destroyed those buildings last time, wasn't it? Okay. Right, let's build these up then. I might even go for that, you know. Noble's palaces. And this... Yeah. Now that, public order per turn, but it isn't giving me any minus for food. Which is strange, isn't it? Some of them give minuses for food and some of them don't. I don't quite understand that. Anyway, this is probably going to rebel. Surely one of these is going to rebel. Next turn, yeah. I wonder if a games edict would do that. Bread and games edict, because it's only on, it's on, what is that? 25 and 76, so really 23 would save it for another turn, so we'd be okay. Uh, but I don't have Neapolis, and in order to get Neapolis, I have to go to war with these guys here, and I'm not ready for war with them yet. Do I just take the rebellion? Do I take this place? It's tempting, isn't it, just to take war and take this place? I think I'm going to have to, you know. We're pretty strong, aren't we? And we're almost covering all his bases anyway. I've got ships moving towards him all the time. Um, I think we're going to have to go to war. Before I make that decision, though, you see, the thing is, it would give me the whole province. Then I could do a games edict, bread and games edict, and that would make all the difference to me. Um, can these guys take this? Because if they can... What's happening? They should be on a normal move, yeah? Okay, that's us. I wonder if I can join a war with someone against Thapsus. Um Let's have a look. Where are you, Thapsus? Oh, PQ. Oh, you're not. You're not Thapsus. You are these. Okay, and these are. You are. What's that? Undiscovered tribe. Military allies. You're at war with the Galaki, and they're undiscovered. I can't do anything about that. I just have to go to war with them. I'm afraid, um, because I can't negotiate with an undiscovered tribe. Okay, here we go. Declare war. 
And we'll go to war with this undis undiscovered tribe, Galaki, whoever they are. Maybe I'll get peace with them again afterwards, you never know. I don't know what they've got here, you know, to be honest. Look at that lot. Blimey. Okay. Right, in circle. Don't forget I've got ships to bring over as well, which I'm very happy to do so. Uh, these here... Normal move, I think. That means I'll get their full morale bonus to there. They could probably attack one of these armies as well. Or a few of them. What's it like now? Oh, look at that. Auto resolve will give me 64, 69, 68. It's not good enough, is it, really? Uh, in circle. I think we'll bring up these ships. I know we will. What happens now if I attack one of those groups of ships? They've got a lot of them, haven't they? Are those? What are they? What are they? Are they ships? They're not ships. Uh, but that's in now, anyway. Numidian javelin, javelin men. Light skirmishes, harry enemy formations, melee attack charge burn. No, they're just land troops. These here are their ships. Two of those. Um, four, six, seven ships. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ships to fight my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ships. Thirteen to fight ten. But, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 against 13 that I can hit them with at long distance. I think it's going to have to be a sea battle, that one, where we'll destroy all of his ships. Um, that means I might be able to destroy the Masaili um, completely. Anyway, that is going to have to be for the next video, because I'm up to almost 52 minutes now, um, and I just don't, just don't have the time for that. Um, it does mean, though, of course, that I don't have to go to war yet with these, and I can do what I was intending to do before, and just block off this area. You see, maybe this ship here can move... Um, over to here somewhere, he can, he can block that. Um, the, one of these others might be able to get somewhere near, I don't know, to block the other side. It's worth looking at, isn't it? Um, and he can do something as well, so maybe he can block this area, he can come round there and block that area. Maybe he can run on a little bit further after having taken um, this area here, I don't know. Um, it does look like he can cover it already. If he can attack there and move on to there, then, wow, I've got it covered, haven't I? And then he's cleared. That's the plan, anyway, but that's going to have to be the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks.